Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for... <laughs> All right. Um, for This is going to be a general energy reading for Thursday, July 25th, 2019. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. Please keep in mind that these... Uh, these readings are timeless, okay? So whenever you come across it and it resonates for you at that moment, then that is a message for you at that time, yes? Um, quick announcement, I'm not going to be doing happy hour tonight because I want to get started on the August readings. So I'm going to spend the rest of the week doing that, um, maybe a little bit of next week doing that as well, depending on how much I'm able to get to. Well, the rest of the week being... <laughs> being today, tomorrow, and the weekend, but we'll see, we'll see what I get, when I'm able to get done. Um, 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 oh, and then the other thing, I was laughing, I laughed because I was, as I was saying, this is going to be a general energy reading, Spirit said, this is going to be a love reading, I was like, okay, all right, Spirit, but, get, <laughs> so that was, but, like, if you're new to my channel, if you don't know me, well enough yet, then you know that I don't specifically channel just for love. I, I channel for whatever spirit wants to discuss with that with us. Sometimes that's love, yes. Other times it is just, you know, everyday circumstances, whatever it is you're going through, right? Um, <laughs> so, yeah, but we are in fact talking about love here, and I knew that going into this because I do have a pre-shuffle. Uh, but this is not necessarily i'm not i'm not quite seeing that you're pay, you're you're connecting with someone yet or this is about a connection specifically with someone this is an internal an, an, an internal energy here you have the 4 of wands but the 4 of wands did come out in reverse it's okay it's not a bad thing because i i, I am feeling i'm picking up that this is on the horizon um the fact that you know the sun is shining is telling me in this at least on this side of the card okay this is the other side right and to, the, to me this feels like you know everything is set happy healthy you know, you, you know you're good here it means that here i'm still i feel like it's on the horizon um but also there's a little bit of blockage but it's not a bad thing okay you also have the lovers in reverse on this side and then on this side of the deck, you have the Eight of Cups, which is upright, okay? And it's this side of the card. So what I'm seeing here is there is a union happening within, yes. Um, there are even maybe even counterparts that are like on their way, like gravitating towards each other. Yes. The other thing, the big thing that I'm seeing right now, though, on an individual basis is this with the Eight of Cups here. Um, you see you have this child that's like looking at these cups, maybe being a little bit nostalgic, maybe, you know, just reminiscing, blah, blah, blah. But what I'm really feeling for, for the collective here is that from a point of view of your inner child or like a, a sense of inner innocence or um, what it is you truly want um, or... Ooh, okay, getting back to what it is you truly wanted before, you know, the world jaded you <laughs> or, you know, before you grew up into an adult and, and was was led to believe all these things about what you can and can't have and blah, blah, blah. I mean, this this is this almost feels like a reset button for a number of people. And um, the best part about this, the blessing here is that with this shooting star, it's almost as if the more you sink into this reminiscent energy or at least um, getting back to what it is you truly desire, like the, the desires of a child or something like that, as I, I, I hope I'm saying that correctly, um, it, it, enough to, 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 to get you or to, to convey what I'm feeling because this, this feels good with the Eight of Cups. Normally the Eight of Cups is a card of walking away from something, leaving something behind. I mean, you do have this, this side of the card here, which is literally someone walking away, all right? On this side of the card though, you have this child who's just sitting there reminiscing, looking over these Eight Cups. Um, and it is in this instance, this feels like you know, the more you get back to your inner sense of innocence, your inner child, the more the universe is going to bless you. But it's when you're least expecting it. That's what I'm feeling here. It's when you're least expecting it. 
because it's not like this kid sees the comet or this the shooting star that's going that's going across the sky behind him and so the more you focus on what it is you truly desire the more you get sink back into that energy of your inner child inner innocence playfulness joy happiness wonder the more the universe will be able to bless you. It's when you least expect it that this situation is going to arise for, for some of you, okay? There is definitely an energy for the, for individuals in the collective that I'm channeling for right now at this moment. There's definitely an energy of a re realignment happening, okay? Um, I do see, with this lovers here, um, I do see this as the two of them have come together. Now, on this side of the card, you, you have this to me would symbolize, you know, the meeting, crossing paths with each other, starting to recognize each other, starting the process of coming into union with divine help. Yes. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be two individuals externally. This could be the internal union. Okay, and that's what I'm feeling here. It mostly is the internal union between masculine and feminine. On this side of the card here, let me turn it up right. On this side of the card, you have the two of them. They're holding hands together. They've recognized each other. They're together. They're, they're, they, they've come into a sort of union, and now they're looking off. You could say they're looking off into the distance to see where they're going to go together now that they have this balance. This, this, they, now they, they have this, this union, they also have a journey ahead of them. And so now it's time to get going, right? Well, here it's reversed, but that's, again, it's not a bad thing in this situation. It really does not feel like a bad thing. This feels like a realignment. It really does. So now some of you have actively really started to find that union within, that balance between the masculine and feminine. And so now, as that, as that union continues to thrive, as you continue to fuse these parts of yourself together, you're able to, int to, to, to integrate, okay? You're able to get back to that energy, energy of your inner child and look at what you have built here and dream from there, all right? Four of Wands is the energy of... Um, of a stable, solid foundation. Um, for some of you specifically, I'm picking up that you're absolutely redefining your lives. Absolutely redefining your lives from this place of balance between masculine and feminine within, from this place of unity, wholeness, oneness, all that good stuff. But it's your own individual sense of unity. It really has nothing to do with what the external world says it's supposed to be, what society says it's supposed to be. And so a lot of this realignment process is you now coming to terms with, coming together with, uncovering pieces of yourself that may have been hidden in the chaos, in the burden. Okay? Okay. Excellent. All right, so there's your pre-shuffle. That's a really good energy, you guys. It really is good. It, it, it may not, I know for some of you, you might be feeling a little disappointed because it's like, you you know, you just want to get to it already, but you got to let yourself, <laughs> the star just flashed me. You got to let, you got to keep the faith. You got to let yourself go through these processes of healing, understanding uh, core wounds, understanding your current circumstances, understanding, it's a very much a seven of pentacles energy, understanding how you've gotten to where you are, um, and where you want to go and so that you can, you know, make, take action and make a plan or something like that. You know what I mean? All right. I'm going to give this one shuffle. And then we'll get into the rest of the reading for the day. Okie dokie. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Thursday, July 25th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm going to give this three shuffles here. And 
we'll see what we've got for today. Thursday, July 25th and beyond. Yes? <laughs> of course, we could be talking about some sort of past circumstance or situation for you, but hey, that is a-okay. Last shuffle. Yep. All right, guys. Let's see what we've got for today, yeah? Thursday, July 25th. Best messages, please. Spirit for the collective here. Ooh, okay, that's a lot. That feels like a lot. My eyes are closed, but that just felt like a whole lot, a whole mess of cards. Okay. We do have the two of pentacles in reverse, but ha ha ha, there we go. There's that seven of pentacles that I was feeling, okay? And then also you have the two of pentacles in reverse. Um, the two of pentacles in reverse is giving me a strong feeling of just not juggling anymore. Just not. Not juggling. Not trying to hold responsibilities for things that you may have been... Okay, yes. All right. Um, we have the five of swords. We have the three of cups. We have the world here. Okay. The two of swords. The knight of cups. The seven of wands. Ooh, the magician. The five of wands. Okay. Give me a second here. Guys, let me just sit with this for a second here. Let me see how this wants to go. Okay, the first thing I want to do, I do want to talk about is the world. All right. Um, you're definitely, okay, you're definitely closing things out for whomever this is for. Um, there is a bit of indecisiveness, though. But but the indecisiveness that I'm feeling has a lot to do, or that I'm seeing here with this Two of Swords, has a lot to do with this energy here, Seven of Pentacles. All right? Um... Observing your harvest, you know, what it is that you do like, what do you like about it? What you do, what don't you like about, you know, your current circumstances or, you know, the, the, the fruits of the labor of your labor here. Um, very interesting. We have a knight of cups energy. Okay. We also have the three of cups. Um, interestingly enough. What I'm feeling for the collective here is that you're very much focused on you and you're not really trying to accept any new offers. I see this Three of Cups energy here. This is celebration. This is this is a union card. This is the balance of body, mind, and spirit. But when it comes to this Knight of Cups here, I was going through the, mo the, through the energies and like, okay, well, is this having a closed heart? No, not really. But this is also not really accepting too many offers here. Knight of Cups. Interestingly enough, though, you do have the Magician, the Five of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Seven of Wands all in reverse. It's almost as if someone here, whomever I'm channeling for, it's almost as if you're taking a break. That's what this feels like. Okay, Spirit just said you're at a checkpoint. So there are, there are defenses that are coming down, maybe hard boundaries that are coming down. Um, you also have the Five of Wands and the Five of Swords in reverse. Okay, yeah. Things might have been really explosive in the past. Things might have been really, um, you know, con conflicting, lose-lose situations, one-upmanship, people just trying to one-up each other. It li this literally feels like a pause right now, especially with the, the, the Magician in reverse, okay? I do feel like moving forward... The magician is the energy that you would be moving forward with in order to manifest, but it need you need to take this checkpoint first to understand where it is you're going and what it is you truly want, Spirit just said, as you close out these cycles. And a lot for some of you specifically, a lot of this has to do with juggling. I feel like you with this two of pentacles energy, I feel like you might have been juggling a lot, trying to distract yourself, trying to keep yourself preoccupied, trying to keep yourself busy. But now that you're reaching a sense of inner union with the lover's card that came out before, and you're starting to look at your life from the from the innocence of a, like a, a child's eyes, 
which is a natural progression really as, as at least I've started to learn as I've been um, you know doing my own work and my own healing my own union my own balance and whatnot my own inner child has come out more and more and it's really helped me <laughs> my, I want to say my inner, my own inner child has come out to play and that's what's happening here okay um, which is really cool which is really really cool you guys now there is a bit of indecisiveness with this two of swords energy but that's because you're still trying to you know clean things up i don't feel like you i'm not feeling like you can't really see what i'm feeling like here is you're is you're taking a pause and you're focused on your intuition you're focused on viewing things from an intuitive point of view to help you logically that's what i'm seeing in that and that's a good that's a really good thing because honestly when you look when you go deeper with your intuition and all that um you'll be able to start seeing things that you, your conscious mind may have missed because the subconscious uh speaks through symbols and, and stuff like that and so if you're if you're consciously working with your intuition or your subconscious mind in order to gain deeper understanding of something the potential for it, for gaining that deeper understanding or deeper insights is much greater than if you just take a strictly logical approach to it approach to it excuse me and that's what i'm seeing here in this two of swords you're really i really feel like many of you who are resonating with this are focusing focusing i'm having trouble speaking today focusing from the point of your intuition not completely leaving logic behind, but allowing your intuition to speak, okay? Okay, now for some others of you, looking at, down at this five of wands, five of swords, seven of wands here. Also, all of these in reverse, also with this knight of cups energy. There is a situation that you are not willing to give to any longer. I almost do, I do see you guys walking away from it in a sense, but not quite yet. I just heard some of you don't, still don't understand fully why you would need to walk away or not, no longer give to this situation. The Knight of Cups, is, to me, can be an emotional giver, you know, uh, someone that would make some sort of emotional gesture, someone that lives with an open heart, um, that would want to make people happy. That's very interesting. But you don't know where you're going yet. And that's not a bad thing. For some of you, you're feeling like it's, you're, I hear you're, some of you, I kind of hear you saying, yeah, well, it's not really a good thing either because I'm kind of stuck in limbo. Uh, I guess. But you need to, what I'm hearing spirit say is you need to figure out where you're going first. You need to understand for yourself what it is you truly desire in the face of what you have already created. Okay? And especially with the Seven of Pentacles energy, it's, it's about um, going back and looking at the process that was taken or the, the method by which you've developed this harvest. And understanding that as much as you can so that you can make changes or do the, do it the same way. If, it, if you do end up figuring out that you enjoy what you are harvesting. But for many of you, it's a situation in which you need to tweak your, um, your method. That's all. But again, that is a part of the energy of coming into your own sense of union and looking at things from your own point of personal innocence, we'll say. Everybody's got it, okay? It's just the fact that we cover it up as we grow up as humans. And we're, we're taught to grow, cover it up. We're taught, I mean, it's, it's unfortunate, but it can be regained which is, it seems, is happening here. So this is a good thing. This is a very good thing, guys. All right. So now, let's get some clarification. And I think I'm going to close the deck with the Sacred Rebels today. My attention is 
my attention keeps getting being drawn to that deck. So I think I'm going to do that. I just got to find... As always, guys, I got to find the book. Here it is. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. Okay, here we go. Clarification time. One more shuffle. Okay, they're ready. All right, guys, let's just get some, I'm just gonna clarify this overall. Okay, looky here, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Two of Cups. All right, that's lovely. Um, and this is the balance between masculine and feminine. This is, the, this is that inner union. This is the minor, in my opinion, this is the minor arcana version of the lovers here. All right, so excellent. This really is, you're fusing together is what I'm hearing. You're coming to terms with yourself. Um, okay, I just heard you're coming to term, you're, you're coming into union with yourself and there are other people around you that might be trying to drag you down because as you do this, you know, you raise, you elevate, you raise your, your vibrational, right, vibrational rate. And so there are others that might be trying to tear you down, but I don't see you giving into that any longer. Five of swords, five of wands in reverse. Okay. That's a good thing. All right. Let's get some clarification, please, spirit. one more pass but let's see what this is first queen of wands i love that with the hierophant wow the hierophant is underneath the deck right now um and this is who you're standing up to all right this is what you're facing here as the queen of wands as a a, a confident vibrant um you know massive contender okay <laughs> but as this individual right confident beautiful charismatic creative um can get anything that he or she wants i mean this is just um i mean this doesn't have to be just a woman okay this is the feminine side of things um this is your magnetism and everybody's got the masculine and the feminine here but I really do see so far with the Queen of Wands and this Hierophant underneath the deck, I do see that you are standing up to this, all right? And this is exactly what I was talking about in the beginning with you coming into this this sense of union and being in this checkpoint and now starting to, starting to look at things for yourself. Understand who you are in terms of what you understand yourself to be or what feels right for you rather than what everyone tells you to be, the Hierophant, okay? That's beautiful. Let's get a little bit more, please, Spirit. It is Queen of Wands energy. Okay. Underneath the deck is the Five of Pentacles now. All right. So, yes, there is. there are many of you that are coming out of um, some sort of lack mentality. You have the King of Swords here with, ooh, the Judgment card, the Eight of Wands. Yeah. See, this really is very much a balance between masculine and feminine energy. And this is absolutely internal, you guys, all right? We're talking on an individual basis. We're not talking about two, ex two external individuals coming together, although we, you could be manifesting that. But for right now, this message is about the inner balance between masculine and feminine for you or for the individual or for whomever is resonating with this reading right now okay as the queen of wands you are mag attracting that which it is that you truly desire towards you the king of swords is like the fuel to that fire of the queen is the logic is the diplomacy is the understanding i just heard is the unconditional love okay um but the king of swords is very much a detached energy and it has a lot it has a lot to do with leaving this five of pentacles energy behind you absolutely 
Absolutely. No more lack mentality. Um, it's almost as if the Queen of Wands is putting out, is like the, the beacon that's putting out the vibration, right? And it's drawing people or circumstances towards her. And the King of Swords is saying, okay, yes to that, yes to that, no to that. Is this what you want? Yeah, this is what I want. Okay, yes to that. See, it's like they're working in tandem. Okay, so also what I'm hearing, and I don't know if this is a good or a bad thing or not, but what I just heard as I was looking at the Queen of Wands, the Spirit said to me, it's like she's indiscriminately just attracting things towards her for the sake of it. And the King of Swords is helping her flesh out what's truly desirable or what's truly acceptable or appropriate or not. And I'm not going to say that's wrong or right. Because if it's a system that works for you, then why would it be wrong? You know what I mean? And for some of you, this is, in fact, like an exercise in manifestation, especially out of coming out of this Five of Pentacles energy where you felt like... You may have felt like you couldn't have you couldn't have anything or you didn't have enough or you weren't worthy or something like that. And now it's just like, hey, actually, I could do whatever the F I want. And I'm going to actually because it is, in fact, my birthright. Um, and that's what judgment is saying here. All right. Judgment absolutely is the resurrection, is the wake up call, is the change. Judgment comes right before the world. And it's interesting because with this side of the world that is that we're seeing here, it's almost as if you could say that you are approaching this portal. Okay? And you can't do that until you've passed, if, until you've gone through the cleansing or the resurrection, redemption, whatnot, whatever, represented here by the judgment and the trumpet playing. It's the sound of the trumpet that awakens these individuals and like cleanses them and whatnot i heard absolves them of their sins i mean i don't necessarily believe in sin but if that is something that resonates with you then you would understand the message yes this is really great guys this is really great it seems it seems that our efforts towards Balancing the masculine and feminine within are really starting to take hold. And I think that's beautiful. All right, guys. So I am, in fact, going to close the reading here with a card from the Sacred Rebels. Now, keep in mind, sometimes these definitions can be pretty long. So I don't normally use these for morning coffee. But for some reason, they really wanted to come out today. Like my attention was really being brought to them. So I'm going to go with it. I'm just going to let it flow. Yo. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's see what we've got. Closing message. Oracle guidance, please, Spirit, for this reading today. July 25th, 2019. Ooh, ooh. There she, there she blows. Come to life. Okay. Yeah, this is, and this is one of the longer ones, but it's okay. 43 boils down to a number seven, come to life. And actually this really feels quite on point. Ooh -wee. All right, here we go. Come to life. You are the most sacred of all sacred artworks. You are bringing yourself to life now and this is how it must be. Of course, something being essential doesn't mean it will always be easy. You must support yourself and have courage during this process. Your monkey mind is not to run the show. It might have a lot to say, and at times it seems very convincing, but it is not the one in charge. Your mind can inspire you with ideas. However, it is the real you that speaks through your rebellious, sacred heart and is living your life, not the monkey mind. The mind is not much more than a swirling cacophony of habitual reactions. Beneath habitual thoughts, there is a deep, sensual, creative, and energetic awakening happening to you. It is, far, it is so far beyond what the mind is now capable of controlling. 
Others might not like it because it shakes things up. Coming to life tends to do that. However, it is happening now and the only real choice you have to make is how to deal with it. Coming to life means feeling. It might bring joy, but it could equally bring sadness, rage, or fear. It could bring all of these and more. Feelings will come and go quite swiftly when allowed to flow. You might need to paint, write, enact ritual, sing, or dance your feelings to help the energy flow. Don't hold back. Create the space for yourself to do it. In this process, you are uncovering the artistry of the universal creator. You are honoring the sacredness of life by exploring it without restraint, and that includes the flow of your feelings. You don't have to do anything with them other than express. You might want to analyze, or you may not. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you are getting in touch with feeling. Learning how to access your feelings allows you to learn how to access your intuition, creative inspiration, and genuine internal guidance. These aspects flow from the same place and are often couched within your feelings in the form of emotions, as well as physical sensations. The journey underneath the mind and, to, and into the sensual, emotional connection with your feelings, emotions, and body is for a sacred purpose. It is part of your life. I'm sorry, it is part of your path. You are one of the sacred but powerful minority that have chosen to come into a body and live consciously within it. That may seem like it applies to everybody, but when you experience it for yourself, you will realize that this is actually rather rare. There are plenty of bodies without a spirit really residing within to care for, love, and honor them as a sacred animal. Okay, I'm going to stop there. But there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And... I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Bye.